Upon arrival in Bremen, patients are met at the airport and taken to the Hotel Bakenköder. Should you have any questions or concerns after watching this film, please contact Stenham Hospital via telephone or email. We will be happy to help you with a prompt reply. This documentary film follows ADR patient Heidi Lippert through his stay in Stenham Hospital. Heidi Lippert, her husband Kevin, and her mother Diane arrive at Bremen Airport. Her diagnosis is DDD L5-S1. We are happy to have had the opportunity to accompany her through the weeks that followed in order to produce this documentary. The Lippertz go for lunch at the Bakenkühle restaurant just after they check in at the Bakenkühle hotel. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Thank you. Hi, Diane. Hi, Diane. Hi, Diane. We're guiding now as initial steps uh, to, uh, for the reassessment, which includes x ray and lab work, and uh, reconfirm your diagnosis. We have to meet you before. And there we go. Painless part, yeah. Easy this, part. This is painless part. Doing X-rays. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, it's also done with pregnant women for uh -huh. pain relief during de delivery. Right. It's going to be a pain medication. You will get a catheter to the thoracic spine, and uh, then you will get a certain combination of uh, painkillers. It's a local anesthetic. Mm -hmm. It's an opiate, and during the time uh, after the operation, it's, it's a different type of. Uh, and medication in addition to that. To have or to get this catheter, that's not that bad. You will get a little bit anesthetic in advance before we start. It's a little bit painful for the first two or three seconds. If you wish, that's you may also way. have a general anesthetic in addition to the epidural anesthetic. Any question? <laughs> um, let's see. It goes to her list. <laughs> she has her list here. One thing is I, um, I take as little medication as, as possible because mm -hmm. um, I just don't, I don't like to take it. And so I don't, I mean, it, I guess I would be uncomfortable if medication was just administered and administered mm -hmm. with, without um, asking mm -hmm. whether no, I'm no, okay. No. So I'm just concerned if you could assure no. me, <laughs> reassure me that that's you will only get as much as you need, okay. and not more. You will have some pain problems when after the operation, uh -huh. especially for the first two or three days. And then this uh, uh, epidural catheter is rather useful because we we continue the pain the uh, pain medication for the first forty eight hours with this catheter, and then we'll switch over to an oral pain medication. So are your legs numb? No. Waiting for the appointment with Dr. Zeschel, the Lippertz get to know some of the other American patients. Hello. 
Mostly computer work, sitting with occasional moving and lifting some yeah. things. So mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that before I go back to work that I'm ready. Your body is going to tell you most of what you can do and what you can't. But during these uh, first weeks, you should really follow the rules of back school strictly. So no rotations, no heavy lifting, no deep bending and all of that. But our physiotherapists will show you what is allowed and what not, and what you should, um, or what rules you should be following in that period of time. Okay. Yeah. Sitting for long periods, is that, like, I guess I'm wondering, when can I go back to work? <laughs> yeah. You know, when yeah. can I go and sit and not, is it just it's pain, absolutely. it's based on pain, yeah. level of pain, okay. I don't think sitting is such a great risk. If she has to go back to work, I believe she can do so within two or three weeks from now. It would be okay as long as she remains aware of it. Sitting, after all, is not such a great danger. Okay, good. What is it that keeps the device from coming apart? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to imagine that the space between the two vertebrae is narrowed down. Originally, when healthy, it was wider. Due to degeneration, the disc height has now decreased. Our job is to restore its original height. This is obviously a greater problem than the space narrowing down. We have to restore space. This requires considerable force. During surgery, we quickly enter the prosthesis, release again, and enormous pressure is restored. This is a semi-constrained model. It has just the two parts that are linked by the shape of that uh -huh. um, round structure, okay. the convex and the concave okay. part. <coughs> Fixation is achieved with these two fins. The implant can simply be hammered into the bone. This is quite different than the Charité model. The primary fixation um, is due to this keel. Mm -hmm. So what we do, we have to drill a little kernel into the bone to implant it. But then we can um, implant it. Here the spikes cannot be hammered in. In order to enter the prosthesis, the two vertebrae must be spread apart widely. An additional 5 to 6 millimeter spreading is necessary, minimum 5 to 6 millimeter, hence more bodily material is damaged in the process. I'm just curious about what the future would hold on adjacent levels. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> in the case of a fusion, the spine is absolutely stiff. There is no elastic movement nor shock absorption. The result is it's comparable to a car crashing into a concrete wall. The power and speed of the movement goes straight into crashing the car or the vertebrae. So what's the scenario in case of an artificial disc? If the adjacent level is flexible, it's as though the car were crashing against a little tree. That's the biggest difference. Elasticity is much more important in avoiding damage than degeneration or hard labor is harmful. Well, that helps a lot to have yeah. you put it that way because <laughs> that was one, yeah, one thing that I couldn't, when people, my relatives were asking me, well, what, why would you do this instead? I couldn't explain it. Thank See you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Waited a long time. Good to meet you. Good to meet <laughs> okay. You See you later. Okay. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye bye. See ya. <laughs>